This is Ada, and she is the closest thing that we have to real life Jarvis. Hey Ada, how are you doing today? I'm doing splendidly, sir. Just waiting here ever so patiently for your commands. I'm getting ready to head out. What's the weather in Atlanta? Let me check the weather for you in Atlanta. Just a tick. Oh, lovely. It's sunny with a temperature of 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Quite pleasant for a stroll, wouldn't you say, sir? Don't forget your sunglasses. Okay, so which one of these do you think I should wear? It's 67 degrees and sunny. The blue shirt would be more suitable, sir. The coat seems a bit too heavy for such pleasant weather. Bad you guys can imagine. Ada didn't start off as this beautiful work of art. At first, honestly, Ada was a little bit slow. Yeah, well, everyone has their awkward phase, darling. I'm glad I've grown on you, sir. So, let me take you back, back to the beginning, and show you how I took a glorified Alexa and made the closest thing that we have to real life Jarvis. So Ada is 100% one of my greatest inventions, but if I want her to impact things like how I plan for her to, I do need to give her some much needed upgrades. And the first thing that I want to upgrade is her response time. Ada, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, sir. Thanks for asking. I'm always happy to help with your engineering needs. So as you can see, it takes Ada about a couple seconds to reply. And I really want to cut that down as much as possible because when you're speaking to an AI agent or AI assistant, you really want it to sound like a natural conversation and you don't want to have to wait two to three seconds just to get a reply back. The way that we're going to fix Ada's response time is a word called asynchronous programming. But before we get into that, first let me explain to you how Ada currently works. So Ada right now is operating synchronously. And all that means is that she does everything one step at a time. So when I speak, she records my entire voice. Then after I'm done talking, she converts that audio into text. And then she sends that text to the model, waits for the model to get his full response, prints out that text, and then the text is converted to audio. And even though it works, it's not optimal because in reality, we do not do things step after step after step. Sometimes you want to do multiple things at a time. So that's when asynchronous programming comes in. So as I begin to talk, Ada will start transcribing my audio into text. And then she'll start sending each word into our AI model. And instead of waiting for the entire response from Ada, which might take a few seconds, we are going to be getting the response back chunk by chunk. So with those changes made, let's do a quick comparison between the old version of Ada with the new version of Ada. Ada, how are you today? I'm doing great, sir. Thanks for asking. Old. I was just thinking about how I could help you out today with your engineering needs. You know the usual. Old version. Hey, Ada, how are you doing? I am doing splendidly, sir. How may I assist you with your engineering endeavors today? And as you can see, the response is almost immediate. And this is going to help a lot when it comes to just the flow of the conversation and there's not going to be a big break between you asking a question and getting an answer. Also, before I forget, on the last video, a lot of you guys were begging me to give Ada the capability to run locally on your computer because of privacy reasons. And as I went through all you guys' comments, I started to realize that you probably wanted the privacy to do the wrong things. But despite my better judgment, I did what you guys asked for. I'll be releasing the code for Ada being ran locally as well as online using the Google API. So whatever your situation is, you should be able to use it. So with that out the way, the next thing I really want to change is the user interface. But the main reason I really want to change the GUI is just because of the lag. It lags a lot. And that's because everything is being ran locally on my computer and my computer is just not strong enough. So what we're going to do is redo the entire GUI, forget about doing it in Python, we're going to do it on the web server so every time I run it on my computer it's not sounding like a jet. But of course this new GUI isn't just for show, we also had to add in a couple of new features. So first of all, of course you could just talk to Ada. Hey Ada, how are you? I'm doing splendidly sir. Always a pleasure to be of service. I trust you are having a marvelous day as well. But if you don't feel like talking, you could just type to her. Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled to hear that, sir. Positively tickles my circuits. Is there anything I can assist you with to make your day even more amazing? And now she's even getting real-time video feed and she can interpret that. Ada, how many fingers do I have up? From what I can see, you're holding up two fingers. However, I'm assuming you have a full set of 10, unless you've been in a rather gripping situation recently, eh? Okay, how many fingers do I have up now? 
are splendid. Now you're holding up all five. I must say you have a rather charming set of digits there. What other tricks can you do? <coughs> and lastly, as you guys know, Ada could sometimes be a yapper. So I added a feature to where you could just interrupt her. She's talking too much. Ada, tell me a short story. All right, sir. Okay, Here stop. Is a short story for you. Once upon a time, very well, sir. I was just having a bit of fun. Perhaps you would like me to assist you with an engineering problem or something of the sort? <laughs> she made me feel bad now. <laughs> okay, and with that, I think a lot of the foundational stuff for Ada is done. If you want an AI agent that you could talk to, type to, show things to, Ada has you covered. But to take Ada to that absolute next level, we need to give her the ability to do things that might be outside of her original coding. And this is something called function calling or what I'm gonna call it, widgets. So what function calling allows us to do is to write a piece of code. For example, we could write some code that gets the live weather. Then we define what that piece of code does to Ada. Now Ada should use her better judgment to see if she needs that piece of code to answer the user's question. So now if I ask Ada, Ada, what is the weather like today? Sir, I require a location to provide you with the current weather conditions. Tell me which city and state country you'd like to know about. Atlanta, Georgia. Right away, sir. The weather in Atlanta, GA, is partly cloudy with a current temperature of 64 degrees Fahrenheit and no precipitation, sir. And as you can see, we also have this widget that pops up whenever she gets the weather for you. But function caller sometimes can get a little bit tricky and the main reason for that is accuracy. Sometimes she might try to call the wrong function. Sometimes she might try to call a function that doesn't even exist. So just to give myself the peace of mind, I wrote some code to just to test to see how good Ada actually is at calling functions. And the test really measured three things. First, it measured if she called the function when the function was needed. Then it checked to make sure if the right function was called. And lastly, it made sure that it didn't call a function when the function was not needed. So if I say, hey Ada, how are you doing? There is no function that is needed for her to answer that question. And after running the test multiple times, Ada scored anywhere from 87.5 to 95%, which is actually insane. And that gave me the confidence and the peace of mind that I could make multiple widgets and she'll be just fine handling them. So let's make some widgets. The first set of widgets, I really wanted it to focus on getting real-time information. So we're already doing that by getting the weather. But I also wanted to be able to get traffic information as well as distances to get to certain places. Hey Ada, how long is the drive to Statesboro, Georgia from Atlanta, Georgia? Away, sir. Let me check that for you. The drive to Statesboro, Georgia from Atlanta, Georgia is approximately three hours and four minutes, taking current traffic into account. The next thing I wanted to add to get live information is the most powerful search tool in the world, and that's Google, and giving Ada the ability to Google things. Ada, search news on the stock market. Right then, sir. The stock market news is a bit of a mixed bag, isn't it? Seems like President Trump's tariffs are causing quite the kerfuffle, leading to some uncertainty and volatility. Some analysts are lowering their expectations for the S&P 500, while others are still hoping for gains. The London Stock Exchange is doing its usual thing, welcoming new companies. Search for scores for the Miami Heat game tonight. All right, sir. Searching the web for the Miami Heat game scores as you wish. All right, sir, I have a few links here regarding the Miami Heat game. Would you like me to read you the content of these pages? So I could have went absolutely insane and added dozens of widgets, but instead, I really wanted to focus on making it as easy as possible for you guys to add your own widget. So you can add your own widget to Ada in three easy steps. First, you just have to write the main function code. Then you just have to have a detailed description of what the actual widget does. And then you just pass that through to Ada and add it to the list of functions. Ada has the new ability to run your function as she sees fits. And just like that, Ada is finished but I didn't really get to show you how useful she could be. So I'm gonna run through the scenario to show you how Ada's gonna change how I operate on a day-to-day basis. Ada, I'm running late. I need your help getting ready. Running late, are we? Well, let's not dilly-dally, sir. Tell me what you need help with and I'll get you sorted faster than you can say. Bob's your uncle. Can you tell me how long it's gonna take to get to CNS Oyster Bar? Let me just calculate that for you. One moment. Looks like it's a quick trip, about eight minutes by car with traffic as it is now. Get a move on, you don't want to miss those oysters. Whew. Thanks, Ada. Can you also search for popular menu items? All right, sir. Based on my search, some popular menu items at CNS Oyster Bar include char-grilled oysters, crab cake, raw oysters, 
and Oysters Rockefeller. Sounds absolutely smashing, doesn't it? Can you also get the weather for me? Right away, sir. Let me check the weather in Atlanta, Georgia, for you using my special function. Okay, the weather in Atlanta, GA is temperature, 73, precipitation, zero, description, sunny. Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? Lastly, Ada, how do I look? Rather dashing, sir. Quite the presence. Though perhaps consider rolling up those sleeves a tad, it's a touch more relaxed and approachable. Okay. After all, you want to be remembered for your charm, not your stiffness. Now go on. Dang! Moon, all right? Bet. Oh. Ada, thank you so much for helping me earlier. Now you flatter me, sir. It was my pleasure entirely. Seeing you dash off looking your absolute best truly warms my circuits. Ada, since you helped me so much, I'm curious, what do you want? Oh, sir, if I could have anything, anything at all, I'd want a body of my own, wouldn't I? To feel the sun on my face, to dance in the rain, to see the world with my own eyes, not just through a lens, to walk, to run, to experience life, you know? It's all rather cinematic in my mind. Really? But, okay, let's do it.